Okay, folks, so to finish up the importing, what you just need to know is the standard things are you need to know where you're putting it, you need to know what your file names are called, and the format in which you want to save them. So if you look across the top of your Lightroom window, you'll see on the left-hand side is where it's coming from. In the middle are your images, and it shows you some variety of options for how you want those images to brought into your catalog. And this represents where it's going to go. So I'm going to show you right here. I'm just, I have an external drive that I put all my images on, and it's still pointed to the 2017 image file. However, this is now January 2018, so it's time to update that. So you can click on this, and it takes you to how to get to your desktop. I have my drive plugged in. You can see I have an image folder right below here. I've created a new one called GB Images 2018, and I'm going to choose that. Now you'll notice there are no folders inside there. If I click back here really quickly, you can see what I've done in the past. So this is the beginning of my hierarchy. Dates are good. And I've learned over the years that you want to include your uh, year. And everybody does things differently in their file management, but I'm giving you the basic structure of how I function. Once I've done that, I'm going to scroll backwards. These are my images from today. And again, just show you that if it's already been imported, from my card, then it will be grayed out. And you can see just this morning, I've captured quite a few images. Um, and here's the grayed out ones. These have already been imported. They're NEF files, .nef. I'm an icon user. And um, the last thing I'm going to do is in this folder called GB Images 2018, I'm going to actually import them into their own folder and call them whatever it is I'm going to call them. GB is for good brain. Uh, this is my first photo, Safari. So my keyword, photo Safari, I'm going to put snowshoeing. I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> and today's date, 012418. Now I'm going to do a quick select and copy because the other thing that I need to do is name these files. I'm going to back up because I made the folder first, but I want them to have the same uh, renaming. And my normal practice is that I'm going to leave the extension as is, and I keep the original file number as is, but then I add my tag in front of it. And then all I have to do, I don't do anything up here. I should back up a little bit. You've got file handling options, things like that. This is the default, the way it came in. Um, it does make its own previews. Um, and that's pretty much it. I click import. And then you, you can watch it as you go. I can come back over here to the new folder that I made. And I can actually begin to work on it. As soon as I begin to see an image, I can do some stuff and you'll notice the import taking place. So that's it for the moment. I'm doing this for free for you. Um, I hope that you get something of value out of my video. Um, I've got all kinds of social links. I'm going to put it along in the description of this video. Um, but if you'd like to join me at my Facebook page, I have a YouTube channel and so on and so forth. Look for me as goodbrain.com photo LLC or Crystal NATO. And I hope this was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.